welcome to the Monitoring Academy and thank you for watching this video. My name is Hannah Devlin and I'm a Level 2 Monitoring Manager. After watching this video on ECU Rep Data Upload, you will know how to prepare your data, how to upload your data and to confirm upload success. You need to ensure you're following the name convention detailed here. That be PMR number, branch code and country code. You will also need a short description of the file. It is important to make sure that you add the correct PMR number as this will route your files to the correct PMR on upload. An example of a naming convention can be seen here. This contains PMR number and a PD collect file tagged with host name. So now we're going to look at uploading your data. There are two common ways to upload your data to ACU Rep. Firstly, HTTP. This is the recommended method for uploads under 20 megabyte. First step, add PMR number to box. Then select which type of software you are using. Here we would choose Tivoli. Next, provide your email address. This ensures you can receive confirmation your upload was successful. Now, you can either select or drag your files into the window. In this example, I am selecting. Once you can see your file listed on screen, click Upload and you will see the file upload into the site via progress bar. So now let's look at uploading data via FTP. This is the most common method used for uploads over 20 megabytes. To connect to the IBM FTP servers, use the address seen on screen and I've also provided in the box below. Once you've connected to IBM FTP server, select the two IBM and then Tivoli folders and simply drag and drop your file into the Tivoli directory. As mentioned before, the PMR number in the file name will route your files to the correct PMR. So now your third and final step here is your confirmation data. Um, you will receive an email confirming that your files have been uploaded if you used HTTP and entered your email address. For FTP, you will be able to confirm your data uploaded successfully via the upload client you used. Thank you for watching this video at the Monitoring Academy. If you have any questions or feedback, please use the comments box below and be sure to click the thumbs up icon if you like this video.